Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Giordano. Oh, great move from Giordano. And he's going to slip it forward. It's Mancini. Mancini! Get in there! Fucking come on, Milan! Four minutes. Giordano with a majestic move in the midfield. Just watch him slip past. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild AC Milan FIFA 17. We sit in seventh position at the moment. A couple of wins on the board. We did have our first loss of the season in the last episode, but uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to push on here. Uh, Mancini's hitting some form, and but when he's not in the side, we're in a little bit of trouble. So we just need to hope for games that are, are nice and spread out. Let's just get straight into this one. Firstly, with a player upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade is for Richard. This one comes from Juan P. Caldente. Uh, hopefully I haven't murdered your name, but he wanted the number 22, some low socks, an untucked kit uh, with an undershirt, uh, Adidas A16 boots. So uh, there's a lot of those. I've just picked these ones and uh, some white ankle tape. So there's this angry baldy is ready for action. All right, here we go, San Siro. It's AC Milan hosting Ascoli. And uh, we'll be looking to continue this run of form. Obviously, there was a loss there in the last episode. We want to turn that around real quickly. But Mancini is available today. So he will be starting up front for us. Uh, I've made one change to our standard starting lineup. I've moved Banks into the first 11 on the right-hand side. Sook goes to the bench. Just not happy with how Sook feels at the moment. Uh, he's made some big mistakes. Hasn't got the passing play. And, and Banks just seems like... It could be something quality. So uh, he has transitioned into the first 11. And uh, we sit in seventh. Now, we will have Roma, I believe, in this episode. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of team they've got. Uh, I think that might be game number three. But we've got two games before that. So let's get out here. Hopefully start it off with a win. Lombardi squeezes it down the line. Banks. Influential. Clausen slips it through. Mancini. Oh, what a save. Klaus it. Giordano. Oh, and another good save. Whoa. Okay. Well, I didn't see that coming, but Ascoli on their first attack forward just absolutely thrusted at home. And well, caught on the edge of the box. A good strike. Hits the fucking crossbar. Santoro caught out of play. And bang. Home. Scully, 1-0. Well, we started off the season so promisingly, being very defensive. I'm playing a lot more attacking. I'm starting with the tactic of being attacking. But it's come unstuck there, and now we're 1-0 down. Good work from Clausen. It's a forward, Mancini. Finds the line. Mancini! Oh, what a save. Well, a corner here, and it's mocked to deliver. Whips it inside. Who's there? Diaz! Oh, how did that not go in again? Just getting denied goals left, right, and centre. Well, there's the whistle for half time. We've created opportunities, but it's 1 0 to a scully. Now we're exposed at the back. Lombardi's missed his challenge. Oh, Diaz, brilliant from the skipper. Here we go. Banks. Well, there's the whistle. Back to back defeats. And it's uh, back to the drawing board for Milan. Well, they had 13 shots. They actually did really outplay us today. And. Uh, Yep, a pretty piss poor effort all round, except for Diaz and Lombardi. I thought they had pretty good games, but just missing something today. All right, game number two, we're all on the road and we're taking on Vicenza. And uh, well, two losses on the trot. We need to turn that one around pretty, pretty quickly. I'm gonna start with Laganov and Sook in the starting lineup today in place of Clausen and Banks. So uh, we're looking for Mancini to have a big game here. We're getting some opportunities, but just not taking them. So we've slipped back to 11th at the moment. Vicenza in 14th. So this should be a good game. Comes back to Sook. Good ball. Laganov! Oh, worked their keeper, but needed to keep it low. Bueno. To Mock. Gets the run here. Giordano. Back to Mock. Picked off. Mancini picks up the crumbs. Mancini get in, son! 1 0. Well, Mancini just picks up the crumbs, wheels around the defender, and 
in he goes. 1-0. His fourth goal for the season. On a foggy day here in Vicenza. It's Mancini hitting the board first. 15 minutes gone. And, well, he is something special. He's got no potential whatsoever. But what he is doing on the day is sheer brilliant. Mock just tried to push it through. Mancini, a good couple of touches. And then just went cross goal. And gets us a 1-0 lead. Lovely finish. I think the goalkeeper was blinded by the lights. A big rush and really starting to make a name for himself in the midfield. Mancini slips it off. Mock try to take the shot. Solid work from Voynov. That's unleashed Laganov. We've got some runners here. Out wide, Giordano. Oh, great touch. Giordano! Oh, couldn't take a proper strike at it. Great movement. Mock, Mancini. Giordano slips it forward. Laganov! Oh, save from the keeper. Richards crept forward. Finds Giordano. He tries to take the shot. Laganov can't take the shot and cleared away. Well, there's half time. It's 1 0 to Milan. Not a bad first half. Richard finds Freeze. It's Freeze now. Slips it in. Oh. oh! It's a penalty! Zivkov's given away something. I didn't see what happened. I was trying to pass it inside. We'll have to wait for the re Oh, red carded as well. See you later, Dickhead. Early shower for you, buddy. Zivkov is off for an early wank. See you later. Well, it must have been a rash challenge. I didn't actually see what happened. Here's the replay. Freeze tried to pass inside. Oh, yes. Full studs from behind. Halfway into his anus. And no, Freeze, You're not the fucking penalty taker. Well, he does have 58. But, uh, Mancini with 24 is our man. Come on, Mancini. Oh, saved. Oh, we need to work on his penalties. There's Freeze. Oh, it's a great ball. Pop off. Go, son. Pop off. What are you doing? Take the shot. What the fuck happened there? Holy shit, Dick. Very impressive. Fucking didn't take the shot for 10 years, and then he finally gets his shot away somehow and hits the fucking crossbar from about two yards. Come on, Pop off. Just wonder whether he can transfer onto those players down on the pitch. Mancini. That's the run, Freeze. He's got to finish this one. Oh, save. Well, there's the whistle. We take the three points. Probably should have had a couple in that one, but uh, our finishing skills are deplorable. Well, we held them to one shot. We definitely should have fucking won the game, but only one goal. Uh, taking a look at the ratings, Mancini with an 8.2. All right, here we go back at the San Siro and probably one of the biggest games of the season. We're taking on Roma. They've been relegated. We're not too sure why. Probably because I think they were playing some idiot in goals because they didn't have a goalkeeper. Let's hope they've rectified that. And we will wait to see the team sheets because I'm sure some of you guys at home do know who would be in the Roma side. They're sitting in fourth on 18 points. Uh, six wins and three losses, no draws. We need to pick up three points desperately once again. Mancini will start up front. And here is our starting lineup. Santoro, Lombardi, Diaz, Choi, Richard, Mock, Voinov, Banks, Clausen, Giordano, and Mancini start up front. And, uh, well, he's a little bit of a wonder kid. Doesn't have the highest potential. In fact, he has none. But uh, he is playing well above his rating. Here's the Roma lineup. Skorpuski, Kumba, Kukanovic, Kastan, Risi. Uh, okay, Dumbia, Ponce, Turbe, yeah, okay, I don't know, I don't know the Italian league, unfortunately, so I don't know uh, what players are left and if they've brought anyone in, so let's get into this one and see what they've brought to the table. Oh, fucking pace, that's what they've got, but Diaz is there and then he falls over his own dick. Whoa. Biscuit. We are getting outpaced and outplayed. A rash ball inside from Richard just gets picked off and smoked by Santoro. 1 0 Roma. Holy shit. He managed to close the space down. Richard did well, but then tried to feed it inside to Diaz. And it was picked off and smoked home. Oh, that is class. It's come off Santoro's hand. He managed to get a finger to it. 
But there was no stopping that. An absolute bullet from Roma. It's 1-0. Oh, mate. This is it. Oh, great work from Lombardi. But we are under the pump here. Diaz gets turned inside out. Here they come again. Oh, no. Well, very lucky not to be 2-0 down. Cuts through the middle nicely. Banks gets the ball on. Clausen. Can he create? It's Clausen! Oh, what a save from the keeper. Oh, Diaz, brilliant challenge. He's not taking any shit from this big team. Clausen, off to Giordano, gets the break here. Once Mancini, doesn't get in, but Mancini picks it off, does well. Slips it off to Banks. Oh, cleared away. Mancini, turns his man. Mancini! Oh, what a save. And there's half time. Well, we weathered the storm, but we're still 1 0 down. There it is. Mate, if anyone wanted us to get promoted last season, this is the reason why I didn't want to get promoted because we're going to come up against teams that are going to get their players back from the free agents and that'll be enough to turn them into superior teams uh, that we're coming up against. The pace is unbelievable. Really struggling to keep up with any of them on defence and uh, the superior class of some of these players like Dumbia is turning us inside out. 2-0. Oh, it's fucking Dumbia again. Oh, for fuck's sake, just knock him over. Great save, Santoro. Oh, fuck me. Choi makes the challenge and then falls over. Oh, Santoro, good save. Voinov. Out wide, Romano. Back inside, Voinov. Oh, sidebar, come on. Absolute mongrel of a game. Well, there's the whistle. We've been beaten by men today. 2-0 to Roma. 11 shots to 6. We did get back into the game, but most of our shots were uh, rather ludicrous, to be fair. Mancini looked, looked good, but uh, yeah, that was a team that had way too much pace for us. All right, here's the final scout report back from Japan. And we didn't really get a lot back here from Japan uh, in regards to signings, but I do want to sign up at least one Japanese player from these three months. I'm going to take a, a crack at Aichi Taniguchi. Uh, 76 to 92 potential could possibly be all right. He's 15. Uh, we'll get him into the youth academy. All right, the final scout from China, and we want to sign at least one player. There hasn't really been anything come through from China either, unfortunately. So uh, we're going to take uh, Zulan Tang, 74 to 92 center midfielder. All right, we are in Mexico, and there's a few 90s floating around. Not one that I really did want to sign, so uh, I will pick one because we do want some Mexican in the squad. Um, I'm going to go... Oh, uh, where is he? Manolo Bello, 45 to 59 and 71 to 94 potential, only for the fact that he's 6 foot 6, and we probably need a little bit of extra height. Hopefully he's a centre-back, but I've got a feeling he's a right-back. Um, so yeah, we'll take him into the Youth Academy and see what happens, but nothing really from these three months of scouting. All right, the Youth Academy is full. I'm going to release Alessandro Russo. We've got goalkeepers. Santoro is doing a great job. We've got John Brady there as well. So uh, Alessandro Russo will make way for the Mexican. All right, time to send our scouts out once again. So we've got the random number generator. And the first one is number 61. This comes from Connor Foster. Thank you very much. He wants Morocco for a winner. All right, next one is number 102. Uh, this one comes from Arno Gaverde. Uh, he was happy that relegation ridge and rebuild was back, and he wants you to scout the Netherlands for an attacker. Off we go. All right, and one more, number 88. This one comes from the Thunder Clown. Thank you for your comment. Uh, he wants Croatia for a playmaker. Off we go. All right, today's player upgrade will be for Romano. Uh, if you want to make any changes to his number or kit, I think he's the right winger, uh, let me know and uh, we'll do that in a future episode. All right, so I wanted to have a quick look at the Roma side that we just uh, came up against. So you can see there, uh, yeah, Dumbia 79, the Turbo 78. They had the pace and uh, only three at the back, but the, the 77 goalkeeper, they just, they just destroyed us. Uh, a couple of 60s there, but uh, yes, that was a team three and a half stars that was so if we look at our side 
We're only a one-star team still, so a long, hard slog here for Milan if we want to get anywhere near uh, Champions League glory. Right, so that's where we'll finish this episode up. We've slipped back to 11th. Uh, a couple of losses of late have dropped us back down the table, but uh, for a one-star team, we are performing quite admirably. We just need to find a few extra goals. That was our problem last season. Mancini seems to be the man to do the job, but... Uh, it's very heavily reliant on him at the moment. We need to find a few extra avenues forward. But uh, hopefully they come in the next couple of episodes. All right, we're done here. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Spryan DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.